Hey, Scott Austin here from Jade Puma. In this video, I want to show you a section that I developed that you can add to your theme that will give you what I call simple uh, cart cross sells. So simple in that this product here that's being cross sold right now is not specific to the contents of the cart. So no matter what contents are in the cart, they'll see the same cross sell items. And this is done through a section. I'm demoing this in uh, Turbo Theme, the uh, online store 2.0 version of Turbo. So if you uh, take the code that I provide, you're going to need to adjust it slightly, probably, for how sections are structured inside of uh, your theme. Now here, you'll see what happens when I you know, look at the cross sell like, oh, yeah, I want to add gloves. If I add the gloves, it adds it to the cart. And now that promotion shows the second item that's in the queue. And there's up to three products that can be queued up in the cross sell section. If I add that one, it'll add it to the cart. Um, and then the third one shows up. And on this one here, because the hat and gloves have no variance because it's one size fits all, they get added directly to the cart. But here on the t-shirts, there's variance for sizes. So and the, the, the section or automatically detects, does this product have variants or not? If it has variants, then when you click the add button, it actually takes you to the product where you can select the variant and then add it to the cart. And then when all three products are added, no promo shows up. Um, but if I remove any one of these from the cart, the promoted item, the cross sell item shows up again. Um, so it's fairly dynamic in that, uh, we're checking the cart contents to see if any of the items in the queue are in there. And if they're, they're not in there, we'll promote them in this cross sell section. Now going into my theme customization, because this is a section, right? So I've got the normal cart section, and then I've got this added cart, simple cross sell section because it's a section, I can just move it up and put it above the shopping cart, or I can move it back down below. And I can turn it on or off like that. And then in our settings, we have lots of settings. We also have a, an on off uh, toggle here. We've got color controls for the background and the uh, border color. And then you can select each one of the products, decide if you want to show the product title or not automatically. And then there's text above the button, text for the button, and then text below the image and uh, the button area. And you can have one, two, or three products. If you don't have a product you know, selected for product two or product three, it just won't show them. So it automatically detects if a product has been selected for two and three um, when determining to show those or not. And then in the page that you're viewing this video on, on, my, on the Jade Puma website, there'll be this content here, which is the section liquid and everything is loaded up into this one section file. So there's no snippets. All the JavaScript is in the section file. And like I said, you might need to adjust this slightly for different classes and things like that, that your theme is using. For example, in the uh, Turbo theme, here it is, global button primary, right? the global button and the global button primary are the CSS classes for buttons your theme may have different ones and there's other settings that may be a little bit different for your theme and you'll notice down here that we've added this section for online store 2.0 to be a template that gets added to the cart so if we tried to add this section to another product you know template or collection template it wouldn't be able to be added because it's only for the cart and that's because we're using different cart settings on the the liquid logic on here but if I go back to, you know, theme customization and I remove this cross sell and then, you know, this is the, the generic blank cart page. If I click on add section, because we've already said right wherever we were a second ago, um, right here that, you know, this is a section that is for cart templates. If we select add section, boom, there you can see there's the cart simple cross sell section it gets added and then we can start you know, adding the content for it. So that's how that works. Um, hopefully this helps and good luck.
Thanks for watching.